what is some history in in the rocks that that we don't know that people would be surprised about because that place is a very beautiful built place mm. there's a lot of history like um very pioneering pubs there mm. can you take us through a bit of history and yeah and well i mean look i mean history of the rocks is in- incredible um <clears throat> i mean <laughs> in in a weird sort of way it begins with the end of the american revolutionary wars in 1784 mm. and the revolutionary wars wrap up in the united states not to britain's advantage mm. and britain needs somewhere to send their undesirables and who are their undesirables? Well, they're American revolutionaries. They're Irish revolutionaries who don't like the British. There are poor people living on the Thames in hulks living out. Who, you know, you've got a whole class of Britons dependent on crime mm. for their sustenance. There's right. no social security. Mm. Right? And so let's say between 1788 and 1850, there's the greatest period of forced migration in human history, and that's the transportation of two, almost 200,000 people to Australia. Right. Mm. And it's something we don't talk about in Australia because we're a bit ashamed of it, but we should talk about it now. Yeah, At this for stage, sure. we yeah, should talk about sure. it. And so where did they settle? Well, they were originally they were originally headed for, for Botany Bay. Uh, but they ended up coming into what we now call the rocks. That's pretty much where the fleet arrived, the first eleven ships of the first fleet. And uh, they pulled in with seven hundred convicts on twenty sixth of January, seventeen eighty eight which we call Australia Day or Invasion Day, depending on your politics. Yeah, that's right. But uh, uh, they raised the Union Jack down in front of what is now Customs House. And a, a version of the Union Jack, which is an absolute replica of the original flag that was raised on the 26th of January 1778, is flying there right now as, wow. we, as we speak. Right? And whereabouts that is? That's just outside Customs House. Customs House. Customs House. Down the, just okay. outside Circular Key Railway Station. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so it was declared to be the land of the Crown, right? Oh. Now, of course, there was the Gadigal and the Cameral people that had been there for 40,000 years, but the Spanish also thought it was theirs. So when you, when you, so the interesting thing is this all ties in with your question about the rocks. This yeah, is yeah, going to yeah. give you a really good background. Yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> see, the Spanish claimed Australia in about 1494. They, they divided up the world with Portugal and they said, oh, look, we, we knew, we knew, we know there's Terra Australis here. We know it exists, but... It hasn't been. The Portuguese had mapped the top end. The Indonesians had been coming here for about a thousand years. Mm. Chinese claimed they were here two thousand years ago. There's no evidence for that, and a um, <laughs> bit of a concerning claim. <laughs> but um, uh, so the Spanish said, "Well, look, we want this place when when it's mapped and when it's ready for settlement, sort of thing." And so when the British turned up and they declared it in the name of the Crown, they automatically expected there could be a war with Spain. With Spain, oh, okay. And so they put. 18 pounders, very powerful cannons, which are strong enough to tear through the armour on a Spanish galleon, and they dotted them around Dawes Point, which is directly underneath the pylon of the Harbour Bridge. Now, those cannons that were placed there uh, were a pretty powerful deterrent because a couple of years later, Mesopina, the Spanish explorer, came down to Sydney on what was supposedly a diplomatic mission, but it wasn't. It was a spying mission. And so the galleons sailed into the harbour and they looked up into the rocks district of Sydney, what we now call the rocks, and they saw the 18-pounder cannons pointing back at them. They thought maybe invading this place isn't such a good Good idea. idea, Those cannons are still there right now. If you jump in a car and you drive half an hour from where we are right now, I can show you Dawes Point Fort. Those cannons are there still waiting for the Spanish to turn up. (laughs) Pretty effective. (laughs)